We're taking a look at the menus of the King Bolin K7 so that you will be familiar with what to expect when you're getting a tool like this. The unit, it is a wireless unit. It needs a Bluetooth dongle that is connected to the vehicle. Usually when you have this connected to the vehicle, even more functionality is unlocked from the device itself. When we look at our menu, our interface, if we slide from the top, we have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, we have an option to activate the screen recording. We have the option of doing print screens. And we have an interesting option of flipping the menu so that we're able to hold it with the right hand. Or if we want, we can hold it with the left hand the main bit of the unit being the holding point. From the left or from the right, if we slide, it's the back function. From the bottom, we cannot do anything. Don't forget, if you want to buy these tools, you could use links that are in the description and help the channel keep the lights on and be able to provide content like this. This unit is running Android 10 with a purposely built custom user interface you don't have access to the android side of the the unit so the menu that you are seeing is all that you're getting you will not be using this tablet for any tablety stuff store here we have a list of software and the availability of updates to a certain point we can refresh it as always when you're getting a unit like this make sure that you have paired it with your smartphone as a hotspot because when you're doing programming or some coding you might want to have really easy access from the unit to your phone or to the internet also something that i've noticed when i'm outputting a diagnostic report it's easier for me to send it to my email address and after that send it to a customer rather than having it on the device sharing it via bluetooth or other stuff i send it to my email and after that i do whatever i want to do generic obd2 scanning again you will notice that if the dongle is not connected to the vehicle you're not seeing this functionality appear i'm gonna cancel it the main scanning menu it has auto search the history of the vehicles that we have scanned a dem <clears throat> a demo mode some obd specific functionality maybe a quick scan and print here underneath we have the list of vehicles that are covered mainly if it has wheels and it is drivable since 1996 all the way to 2022 they are advertising that you're able to scan it and diagnose it, diagnose it with this tool. You can see some of the names, some of the vehicles available. Now doing this, I just remember that it might also be a good idea for me to record the screen so that you have a higher resolution view of what we are doing. This dongle, the fact that it is recording the screen takes quite a lot of real estate you can search for the name of the vehicle that you want to work on let's see if we slide it to the side yep so whenever we have the big keyboard we can either drop it with that arrow but at the same time we use the back function that requires us to swap swipe the side of the menu next the thing that everybody wants to see the special function list something regarding air to fuel ratio abs bleed headlights adjustment you will notice that similar to top down similar to launch once you get in that menu you will see that you start the function and you are still required to select the brand of vehicle that you want to work on i've noticed that if i'm selecting something and the dongle is not connected in the vehicle it doesn't show me not even the list of vehicles so we don't spend too much time on that uh, add blue resets 
suspension adjustments, airbags, battery management systems, things regarding the brake, coolant pumps, DPF, EGR, something with some throttles, gearbox, immobilizer, injector coding, changes of languages, mileage correction, so specific or strangely enough, these units are offering such a thing launch doesn't offer such a thing and i might have mentioned it in the big review of this unit the software that king bolan is using is very similar to the software that launch is using and i'm really thinking that they are working together so this unit is running software that launch has perfected software that launch is providing and this gives you the confidence to work on vehicles knowing that the software has some history, knowing that the software is stable. And usually what you have in the menu actually happens. The function is quite stable and well developed. Steering angle, auto stop, tire pressure monitoring systems, transport modes, windows. Do not get fixated on these special functions. You are mainly seeing them for a commercial reason many times we have much more capability once you have scanned the vehicle and in the menu once you have selected the vehicle you have special functions there you will have coding you have personalization so that is a more complex menu than this one this is a more generic type of, uh, of menu repair information you will have a link to chrome some file management fault guide learning let's see in the videos if it no didn't save anything over here user manual i don't expect you to actually use those menu that much the one click update capability quite fast quite effective i would say even better than launch so the system is very streamlined it's easy to use we go and we see additional modules additional capabilities accessories that you want or you might want to get a battery tester the oscilloscope the oscilloscope is a little bit iffy on a screen small like this so the unit might be able to be used with an oscilloscope but the screen is too small for that so forget that idea a printer if you want to connect such a thing a video scope an endoscope that is something that might be useful you have your usb a port over here which also can be used to charge your mobile devices although the battery is not that big on this one it is managed quite well and as a fail safe you can give some power to your phone if you need the internet or you actually need the phone and you don't have a charger anywhere else Tire pressure monitoring systems. There are some accessories that allow you to program or code or do some things to, to those units. Okay, let's go and see the files that have been saved. Let's see an example of what happened, what I've done to this vehicle. It groups them quite well. It groups all the work and all the things that have been done to a certain vehicle and also the branding is, is present but is not extremely aggressive one of the things that i really enjoyed about these guys is when you generate your reporting you have the option of sharing wasn't able to or i didn't spend the time to activate the bluetooth stuff i was sending the the report on my email and the email that you're receiving is low key it's it doesn't feel awkward it doesn't feel like a strange email that you don't want to to see and it didn't go in the spam folder so fair play for them and it's just the basic stuff you don't have anything that you can change over here you just get the dtc and that's all that you're getting i've played around with some data streams when you're actually performing the diagnostics the use of the tool is quite interesting you can record a data set for the running of your engine 
and you can have it as a reference point and after that compare what you're getting versus what you should be expecting which is quite nice quite useful it gives you the opportunity of doing data logging with multiple data streams but it limits only for if you want to output a graph basic but useful so what are the things they will group the files as pre-repair, post-repair, and some other files that they might want to put them in their structure in the, fi in the file management. I'm expecting this unit to also feature the client management software that I've seen on Top Done. I didn't pay too much attention on the launch side of things, but I'm expecting them to, to have it over there. So, updates, orders, feedback, the dongle itself. Some people are using app updates over here to update the main things that the unit is running, not the, um, the software for diagnosing the vehicles, but the software the, that the tablet is using. Browser is the internet browser, customer management, that idea of putting the information from the customers, business information for you to have it in your header, USB connection mode when you want to connect to the unit. When you want to activate the print screen or the screenshot or the other stuff, you can use them from fast from the drop menu from the top, but you can also go in this menu and select them over there photo album where the screenshots get sent screen recorder i'm expecting to see the actual recordings that we have done but at the same time we can watch these things by selecting the file management option and it might be a little bit more effective like that wi-fi settings language let's take a look english german italian Spanish, Portuguese, Polish, Magyar, some other strange languages, Turkish, and you see them over there. Time zones, sleep mode, 24 hour format, firmware fix if you need to upgrade something or if the unit is not working properly, you might select that to update the, uh, the, the firmware. Until now, everything worked according to to the specs i didn't have absolutely no problems file manager this is where i was or this is what i was referring to when i was saying that this might be a better option to explore your videos than using the in-app option over there let's see i swipe it to the side and i should be able to go back some help other things that you want to be mindful of or other things that might be very important remote not the remote control remote controller and remote diagnosis remote controller might you might need to use the king Boland software but remote diagnosis allows you to use team viewer for someone else to connect to your tablet and help you along doing the diagnosis that might be quite useful especially if you're a beginner or if you want to help someone else do some work on their vehicle that will be useful to to use okay about the product some serial numbers some software versions we're not able to click too much on them and that is all that you're able to see with the unit not connected to the vehicle construction point of view really solid quite good screen easy um, the screen is very responsive you don't struggle like with other low-cost diagnostic tools to input the data or for the touch to be uh, sensed by the tool and even if I have dry hands everything works flawlessly more details and other things will be shown once you connect to the vehicle these were the basic stuff if you want to see more about diagnostic tools or launch tools this video over here might be useful 
that one over there also might help. Don't forget, if you want to buy these tools, you could use the links that are in the description and help the channel keep the lights on and be able to provide content like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.